Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just got these new headset and I have the stream cam angle kind of weird, so my head is kind of lopsided. But today we're gonna do Linux Fundamentals Part 2, or a reset. Let's get right into it. Anyways, let load. Just want to let you know, guys. Uh, I don't have any IT experience right now, or in, in the IT industry, but uh, I like to do this for fun and yeah, spend my own money and time on it. Currently, I'm a CompTI Certify, all current, A plus, CAY, SA plus, Network plus, Pen Test plus, Security plus, and IFT plus. I'll probably make videos uh, to show you guys how I pass these certifications, but I'm done for the rest of the year. Anyways, uh, so Linux Fundamentals Part 2, Try Hat Me does have a YouTube, uh, has a video. I strongly recommend watching it and uh, redo these tasks. So, all right, I already load mine, so I'm going to show split screen. And task one, just an introduction for part two. And uh, you can just answer questions below. And then task two, accessing your Linux machine using SSH deploy. So you just close this off and let's open the terminal. All right. First thing, this is how you log on. SSH try hack me at that's the IP address two, 250. Yours might look different. Then it's asking, do you want to log on? You have to type yes. Password it says uh, try hack me. All right, logged on. As you can see. All right, task three, introduction to flags and switches. So we just talk about different commands, directories, hidden folders. And let's answer your questions below. Explore the manual page of LS command, complete it. You're just gonna read it. What directional arrow key would we use to navigate down the manual page? So it's asking directional key down. So it's kind of obvious down. And then what flag would we use to display the output of human readable way? So it's talking about the list of commands. So let's type manual ls. And if you go down by reading all this, you'll see it's kind of lagging. There you go. So slash H is human readable. Cool. Task four, file system interaction continue. So this one talks about all the commands, creating file and folders, removing files and folders, copying and moving files and folders, determining file type. So answer the questions below. How will you create the file name new note? Hint, look at the answers formatting. We're not expecting quotation marks for this. So create the file. As you read through the task, the first one is actually touch note. So new note is touch new note. There you go. On the deployable machine, what is the type of file unknown one in try hack these? home directory. So it's asking what kind of file type. And on the last paragraph, determining file type, file note. So let me 
quit this. There you go. It's lagging a little bit. Okay, so let's type file unknown one. So it's an A6 text. All right. Let's copy and paste. Cool. Correct answer. How will we move the file, my file, to the directory, my folder? So it's talking about moving. There you go, copying, moving files and folders. As you read through it, CP means copy and MV means moving file. So is MV, oh my bad, MV, my file, my folder. Cool. What are the contents of this file? So let me, Make this MV my file, my folder. Cannot stat notes. My file to my folder. Okay, hold on. See. What is the contents? How we? Oh. Let's see, contents, was it cat unknown one? Might be wrong. Oh, wait, I get what you're saying. So CD my folder. Oops, CD. My file, cat, my file, there you go. So it's already moved already. And that's the answer. Continue to apply your knowledge and practice commands from this task complete again. Task five, permissions 101. So it's talking about permissions, all files directory, so sue, is switching uh, permissions, basically switching between users. So answer the questions below on the deployable machine, who is the owner of important? So to check the owner, it says right here, list LH. All right, let me switch back. LH. Is it this one? LH. Oops, wrong one. All right. So as you can see, important. So who is a user? User two. What would the command be to switch to the user to user two? So, as you read the last paragraph, switching between users, so using su to switch to user interactively. So it's the su command. So su user two. I know it's kind of foreign in the beginning, but as you get used to it, it all clicks uh, later on. So now switch to this user, user two using the password user two. Okay, let's try it. Su user two. Password user two. See, as you can see, it switched to here to a different user. I'm just going to check on then. All right. The output of the comments 
Important, what is the flag? Then cat important. Nice. And that's answer. Correct. Correct. Task six, common directories talks about slash etc slash var slash root temporary TMP. So it says read me strongly recommend read each task to get full understanding of the Linux fundamentals. So what is the direct path we would expect logs to be stored in? So let's talk about storing. And as you read through it, var is one of the application that is stored, written here var log. Store data that's frequently accessed or written by services. So what's the direct path is var log. What is the root directory similar to how RAM on the computer works? Hint, the contents of this root directory do not persist after rebooting. So it's talking about how RAM works, so it's temporary data, right? So as you read through the last one, TMP, temporary data. And name the home directory of the root user. So this one's fairly simple. So root means the home directory, basically by default. So root. All right, guys, now apply your learning and navigate through these directories on deploy Linux machine. Like again, task seven, conclusion summary. Just read through it. Nothing much. Then task eight, terminate the machine from task two, terminate. And yeah, complete and part three. All right, guys, like this video, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment below to how, uh, show me how these, how to improve these videos. And you can share your completion of room or bash Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn as I share all mine, all my LinkedIn. And that's it guys. Uh, the next one will be part three. Uh, I'll be a go on a trip, so I won't be uploading. Hopefully I can upload uh, Monday and Friday. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Let's see.